Did you know that the Bhagavad Gita is the most renowned and celebrated scripture across the globe? It is distributed worldwide in more than 80 languages and to say not the least, more than 1000 people have commented on this literature so far. And across centuries, people have benefited and perfected their life by following the teachings and principles that the Bhagavad Gita offers. Now comes the question, why is there a need to read this scripture? Welcome everyone to the School of Transcendental Wisdom channel. In this video, we'll try to comprehend and find out the relevance of the Bhagavad Gita in our practical life. So the Bhagavad Gita is an ancient literature that has transcended time and space to offer us profound wisdom and guidance. It helps the student to make better decisions in life, improve their physical health, assist them in their emotional, mental and spiritual well-being, cultivate divine qualities, reawaken our misplaced love and most importantly, it helps the sincere seeker to actually connect with the eternal reality by giving them a higher vision about life. So there is a process through which the Bhagavad Gita needs to be studied. So this process can be actually termed into a small acronym called HOLES. H O L E S. The H stands for hearing. Hearing is one of the most fundamental and primary aspect of receiving knowledge. To hear the knowledge with faith requires an openness of heart. Faith is actually not opposed to knowledge what most people think in the world today. Rather, faith is just a prerequisite which is very very essential to receive the knowledge. O stands for observe. Hearing the knowledge with faith allows the student to actually see the world through the lens of the scripture and make out whether whatever the principles that are being given in the scripture is actually aligning with the events and incidents that are taking place in the real world. L stands for live. They say the Bhagavad Gita is just not a book to be read. It's a book to be lived. The purpose of knowledge is action. It's fascinating, you know, how something that was spoken more than 5,000 years back is still relevant in today's world. And each principle can be drawn out and made applicable in our day-to-day -day functionings. E stands for experience. When we hear the knowledge faithfully, observe the world attentively, live the principles intentionally, then we experience the knowledge practically. It no more remains just a theory for us. It becomes practically a living theology. Albert Einstein once he said that the Bhagavad Gita is not a mere book. It is a living force. S stands for sharing. They say knowledge is power, but shared knowledge is power multiplied. You see, when we have genuinely realized something in our life and that has actually helped us in developing and transforming our character then the natural outcome would be that there will be a deep intense desire to share that with as many people as possible around so this is the process to actually undergo the study of the bhagavad gita remember h stands for hearing faithfully o stands for observing the world attentively L stands for living with intention. E stands for experiencing the knowledge practically. And then S stands for sharing that with as many people as possible. They say that we cannot solve the problems of the world with the same type of thinking that created them in the first place. As they say, if you want a new idea, then go to an old book. The Bhagavad Gita is one of the most oldest scripture that is relevant and accessible and applicable to all of us. So my humble request to all of you is that we should all go on this journey of finding out whether how is the Bhagavad Gita relevant for me? How can I actually 
benefit out of this book definitely the bhagavad gita will serve you more than you could ever imagine yes you can discover that so thank you very much for your kind attention and sharing your valuable time hope to see you all in the next video soon